Hello there, English learners. Welcome back to Dreaming English, the channel where we make learning English fun and exciting. That's right, Rochelle. And today we have a special episode for you. We'll be exploring summer idioms. This was originally created for my Laurel's Learning Lab YouTube channel Q&A series three years ago. But we are diving in again today because it is summer and these are so good. The original link is below this video. And there is also a giveaway, so don't miss that. Hello, everybody. We are talking about summer, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my trip to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and the mountains. And we will talk about some summer idioms today. I'm looking forward to hearing about your trip. So what are some idioms that you have heard before? Maybe you heard of every cloud has a silver lining. What does that mean? Or maybe her head is in the clouds. Maybe you are going to keep your head above water or throw in the towel or throw somebody in the deep end or maybe somebody is full of hot air. So what do all of those mean? <laughs> oh, and then my favorite, which I do a lot, is travel on a shoestring. So let's go through all of these things one by one. So first, um, talking about these summer idioms, what does every cloud have a silver lining mean? Well, that means something good is going to happen. The rain is coming out of the clouds, but maybe that's a good thing because the rain helps cool off the day. And it's been hot all day and it starts raining and you feel cool. So think of the good that is happening as a result of something bad. It's kind of like our next saying, making lemonade out of lemons. It's a bad thing that turns into a good thing. You can choose to make the best of something. Now, if you had your head in the clouds, that's an idiom that talks about somebody that's not thinking about anything serious. His head is in the clouds. It's not on the important things or events that are happening. That's true. Next is fun in the sun. And this is a fun one because obviously you're going to the beach or doing something outside. Maybe you're getting a tan or you're going on a boat or something like that. Fun in the sun. We like that because it rhymes. It's like our next idiom, a day at the beach. But you know, not every day could be a day at the beach. Every day has to have some work involved and then you get the time off, right? Then it's your time to relax and unwind. And when you go to the beach, don't forget your sunscreen, which brings us to our next idiom. So what does it mean to keep your head above water? That means you're frustrated. You had a lot of trouble in that day and you're trying to do all your work. You still have a lot of work left so you're trying to keep your head above water so you're not drowning. <laughs> That's related to our next idiom. So if somebody throws you in the deep end, it is like trying to do something you're not familiar with. So you have to sink or swim. There are a lot of water idioms. A lot. And I, you know how I love to swim. So our <laughs> next idiom is full of hot air. What does it mean to be full of hot air? You can say that politicians are full of hot air. You can say that about anybody that is not telling the truth. Maybe they give a lot of promises, but they're not fulfilling them. Or maybe you don't think they are taking you seriously when you ask them something. You know, like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll do that for you. And then they don't really do that. He's full of hot air. I hate that. There's another one that it reminds me of, and it's she's talking out both sides of her mouth because she's not telling you the same thing that she tells someone else. I don't like people that do that. That reminds me of when somebody who is not listening to you, that's another idiom. It goes in one ear, it goes in one ear and out the other. It doesn't really stay in his brain. He doesn't remember it. So that's kind of a funny idiom too. <laughs> And now for our final idiom. When I went to Gatlinburg, we traveled on a shoestring. We didn't have a lot of money, so we put gas into the car, made sure the car was ready and able to go on a trip because we knew we would climb a lot of mountains. My car barely made it. <laughs> and then we just did what we wanted to do. We ate at a couple of good restaurants. We did a couple of great activities, like going up into a helicopter in the sky. That was amazing. What an amazing view. And that didn't cost a lot of money. 
We did it with other people and we just spent time in nature enjoying the sights. So before we go, everyone, we want to encourage you to write your own sentence examples using these idioms in the comments below. We would love to see how creative you can be. And don't forget to subscribe to both our channels, Dreaming English and Laura's Learning Lab. For more exciting lessons and language tips, you'll find a link to Laura's YouTube channel in the description below. Yes, and it contains an ebook that includes all the idioms that we discussed today, along with our meanings and examples, and a special summer song by Cheryl Crow. And you'll also get to join my new membership and other learners if you want. Thank you all for joining us today and keep practicing those idioms. We'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.